you ever notice that, like bad? I try. Yo, you ever notice that bad ass? Wait, what you mean? Oh, you try what? You try what? I try what? Yo, let me ask you this. Oh, you don't know? He don't know. He don't know. Don't know. For a good time, then you came to the right place. Cause right now we about to get lit. Got something cooking in the pot. So you should grab a seat and take a shot. Cause this vibe is about to come on. Me in the kitchen, I'm gonna serve in the dish. Need the hit all the love, but they know I don't miss. Cause who came with the vocals, needs to be with a hit. Shout out to Steel Magazine, let them know we the shit. Why not? Why not? Uh, 
Obviously, I'm the HNIC of the firm, Cigar Society. Shout out to anybody who's watching or listening. Uh, I've been keeping it quiet, but I am coming out with my own cigar, finally. Uh, as of right now, it's unnamed, but I am coming out with my own cigar. I'll be selling it in 10 packs um, for $55. Uh, 10 packs of cigars. It's a medium plus. Yeah, hey, listen, every, it don't got to be expensive to be good. It don't got to be expensive to be good, but... um. Yeah, hopefully by next week I'll have a package up, 10 packs, uh, the 55, 55 a pack, 10 cigars, 550 cigar, but it's a great cigar. Not a good cigar. Pay $12. Listen, man, it's each his own, but I tell everybody, listen, it's like wine. It's good $10 bottles and bad $20 bottles. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, right. Uh, look out for the firm, the Firm Cigar Society on IG, um, Diesel Coach on IG. Follow me. And uh, the news to come, more news to come. We're going we to keep... Every time Ray sit down right here, man, he's gonna tell you about whatever's oh, yeah. popping with cigars. And yo, what you smoking right now? Yeah. Uh, my father. Shout out to Steve from my father's. Uh, Steve is the regional rep around this area. Uh, Steve from my father's. This is my father's cigar. A great cigar, medium plus. That's usually what I smoke. Okay. I don't smoke too many light cigars, but my father's got a lot of great product. I'm smoking this one. Steve, big shout out to you. Is this shit gonna be good? Is no. the job no. no? Not, not for me. <laughs> not for me, but that's, no, it's a good cigar. So the Java is the number one selling infused cigar that we have in the shop here at Main Street Cigars, 53 Main Street in Woodbridge, of course. Why, why is it, why you put infused? It's infused with what? That one's latte, so like chocolate. Okay, so it's infused flavor. Right. The people saying infused, they think it's like TV, THC, or No, it's no, 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 we got job jobs. <laughs> job yeah, jobs. we got job jobs. Yeah. So, speaking of that. And, and I, listen, we got job jobs, but this is what we do on the weekend. No time, man. Of course. Yeah. What you what you what you puffing on, AJ? Oh damn, this on. is AJ. AJ man, them people know you already. Exactly. Tell they me, know me. Tell them who you are, man. What's going AG? on? It was AJ. AJ the OG. OG. Exactly. The OG. The OG. Back at it again. OG. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. With the Uncle Ro. You know what I'm saying? Because of Ray Ray over there. You know what I'm saying? Got the uh, you light it different. yeah. Light it different. That's how you know you're professional. Uh, yeah. 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 He, yeah. He right. He light it just like you know what I'm saying. The CEO of a cigar company. Gotcha. Chatelier, right? Yeah, with the high school. It's a very yeah. That's a that's a very special. Yeah, <laughs> that's a very special bottle of uh, of cognac right there. Very smooth. You know what I'm saying? A little sweet. You know what I'm saying? Pairs, like pairs well with a with a medium full. You know, kind of cigar. You know what I'm saying? Good for uh, desserts. Or you know, if you're just chilling in the you know Main Street cigars or any cigar shop you're choosing. Main Street. That's what we have. We're here in the patio, our 24-7 lounge, private lounge, members only lounge here at mm -hmm. Main Street Cigars, and uh, we appreciate Main Street for letting us have this. Mm -hmm. oh, can't go too, I can't go too much further than that. I didn't even chase you. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations for us, man. For family. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So, hey, G, man. We was talking about Alec Baldwin, mm -hmm. a little something there before you got here, mm -hmm. and, and, and I found out we made a bet that uh, you wasn't going to hit this on the head. Okay. Alec Baldwin shot me. We know that, right? right. What's her name? Uh, what's her name? Karen. Her name is Helena Hutchins. Hey, her name is Helena Hutchins. That's the girl that. That's the girl that. Helena you know, Hutchins. Yeah, yeah, that Alec Baldwin shot. And die, uh, you know, rest in peace to her. Rest in peace to her. And, and you know, blessings, yeah, yeah, blessings and prayers go out to you know her and her family. Um, what do you want? To know? It's, it's, yeah, we, uh, know, we know Alex shot him. Yeah, yeah, we know that. That's cut and clear. Hmm. But who's behind that bullet? Like, who put the, like why? Why Maybe, was there bullet? Why was there bullet in that gun? Okay, so on every on every movie set, mm -hmm. 
where there's guns involved, there is a person called the armorer that handles the weapons, you know, is responsible for clearing them, loading them, putting them in the actors' hands and everything. So, according to the news, you know, this uh, armorer that was on the, the set Rust, which is uh, Alec Baldwin's project. AG, who shot that? I mean, who, who, who set that up? She did. She the armorer. Her name is. Uh, why? Why she her, said? Yeah, her name is, uh, was it Hannah Gutierrez Reed, whatever? She's 24 they, years they, old. They was in a relationship? No. But she was, but here's the thing is that she was unqualified, and there's other there's other armors that have been in the business for years that even said that she was unqualified. Bro, who you work for, bro? Yeah, you work out. <laughs> Car coroner's <laughs> office. Nigga, you're the only one. Hold on, what you want, hold on, what you yeah, want me uh, to say? Did you want me to say that that's Alex? Say that's Alex? smashing her, probably. On the set. Yeah, probably. She, was, she, had, a, she had an extramarital yeah. affair, you don't think so? Get it off your chest. Yeah, probably. You don't think something's wrong? But that doesn't, right, right, but that doesn't. set Alex up to shoot her, man. It's gonna come out. But here's the thing is that they're gonna start checking, they're gonna start combing through like you know to text messages, they're gonna see who she was hanging out with, she had to drink with after work, all types of stuff that's gonna come out. Okay. They got six hundred articles okay. and anything of evidence right now. Mm -hmm. You don't think that those joints and anything did you text her? Did you call I don't even know. Like, I don't even know. You know what I mean? Like well, let me, but, but let me ask you this. So you're saying it's an extra metal, marital affair that you know, I'm saying, it was her decision I'm to bring saying, live live ammo no. on a set where, maybe, where, that's, maybe it was a where, where that's illegal? I mean, that's just maybe been illegal since the 90s. Yeah, but maybe it was a heartbreak. Maybe something like that. I, I guarantee it, was, it ain't cut and dry. And the, like the, and, the, and the way she gets over a hard breakup is to shoot a bunch of beer cans on set with the crew. Like damn this shit and everything. With, with real ammo. Because that's, that's what happened before... She put the same gun that she was shooting live ammo, like the beer cans with, in his hand, which killed, you know what I'm saying, that lady. So who was shooting live ammo? The girl or the... The armor. Uh -huh. Hannah Gutierrez Reed, right? Yeah, she she's, the, she's the armor, right? She's the... You think maybe she was messing with Helena? Uh, she was probably messing with everybody. She used to be an IG model. Who? You know what I'm saying? The, uh, the girl who was shooting? The armor, yeah. She used to be an IG model. You know what? Did, no. you see, did, no. you at, did you look at her um, IG page? No. She thick? No. Oh, she looked like Asian. She, you know what she looked she like? Only she looked like, hold on, she looked like, she looked like, she looked like the elephant man with blonde hair. He followed her. Yo, he followed her. He followed her. Yo, he's too invested in this whole thing. He's like, yo, and if the armor, and, yeah, he broke it all down and everything, man. I'd have watched every video and I don't know none of that. Word up. I don't even know what the word is. Is that something that you aspire to be an armorer? I mean, I guess that's what she wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? She's 24. She's, she's an IG model. Exactly. Like, what did you have to do to become an armorer? I have no idea. Like, what did you have to do? You have to do Not an IG model. At, like, at, at first, at, that's exactly. Well, you know what I'm saying? But I guess I she was in love with guns enough to, you know what I'm saying, put it. You know, to put her, to put her uh, gun skills to use on the set. I think it, she I think clearly something. wasn't ready for it. I think it's something fishy and anything going on with that. There's definitely something fishy going on, but from what you read on the news, you know what I'm saying, like, uh... You like women that like, shoot guns? Huh? You like women that shoot guns? I love women that shoot guns. Yeah. yeah. You like women that smoke cigars? I love women that smoke cigars. Yeah? That's right. You like women who drink, who drink scotch? Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, love women who drink scotch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and cognac, especially French cognac, like that one to your left. And, and you like women who watch football? Of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You think they? You think women like us when um, they go shoe shopping? So why are we? Why are we let them in our business? And they, they, you don't want to date they business. The vibe, man. Let's, I mean, that. let's look at. Let's look at times nowadays. Mm -hmm. The independent woman. Right? Mm -hmm. They hire us. Then us. That's what it is. It is. Yeah. I, I say for the most part, especially on the uh, on the layman's level. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about. Level. Why do we let them in the hostels? Mm -hmm. That's what they want to be. They want to be equal. They want to be on the same level. They want us. They want to show us mm -hmm. that they know too. And we know that. Y'all know that. Y'all can do that. Mm -hmm. Until it's time. To, Until it's time. Until it's time. Yeah. It's time. Yeah. Until it's time to be a girl again. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can dig it. Yeah. Um. So what? What is? It? Is there anything about the chick that you say? You know what? Um. That's just a no no straight up. And I ain't talking about if she white and anything. I heard that no that far. But suppose so 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 suppose the chick ain't ain't vaccinated, they, they you still smash them. You going in 
Suicide So is that the new form of protection? You know what I'm saying? It went for hold on. It went from Magnums to motherfucking uh, right. Johnson and Johnson boosters. Johnson and Johnson. Is that where? Is that where it went? One shot. You know what I'm saying? One shot. One shot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because before it was, you know what I'm saying? And this is like early 2000s, where you know what I'm saying? Fuck up with a chick. You know what I'm saying? You guys start to get serious or whatever. You know, you start trading. If she's a, if she's good, you start trading. Um, you it's the any information. You know what I'm saying? You get tested. Far, she get tested. Far. There you go. Three second pull. Put the fire on. There you go. You're gonna flame. Look at that. Take notes, viewers. That's how you let us go. Yeah, we good. He said, fuck, I'll put that down here. Yeah. Professional. Yeah. Straight pro. Yeah, professional. Yeah, like you said. What don't I like to do? You can't hold a conversation. That's a wrap. Mm. But what would you talk to a girl about? Why? But why? 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 First off, you gotta find a chick, female girl. You, you can't go. You can't go call one of the females on Why would you talk to them? But you can't. Can I say them? You can't think you say them. No, nah, them is for somebody else. You can't say them. Them is for somebody else. I'll say single because that's what I'm talking. To. I ain't talking to you. Well, unless they, they give you their pronouns after they say, hi, my name is. Well, when I'm talking to a female, that I identify. Mm-hmm. Not that I identify, I identify her. Right, but this is how confusing it is, right? She can, she can identify as a female, but she can say, I, uh, my pronouns are Z, L, um, I'm going to stay away from that. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm I'm staying, staying, I'm staying, that. I'm going to stay away from all that. Mm-hmm. But, but, but the, the thing about, the thing I was asking about, about females, Women, chicks, whatever you want to call them, it's like, like you said, you, you cool with them smoking cigars, you cool with them watching sports, cool with them drinking scotch, cool with them doing everything, right? Mm-hmm. But <clears throat> a lot of times when you let them into the club or in the room or whatever like that, they tend to think that they should be in competition. Right. Okay, that's mm-hmm. what I started to notice. Mm-hmm. Like they'll, they'll, they'll compete in conversation, they'll compete in, you know what I'm saying, and know how to compete in everything. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and it don't just have to be like just in a, a, a chill setting, it can be mm-hmm. even a relationship. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know if that's a sign of the times or if it is, you know what I mean, like how they always was and just now they just got the, the platform right. to do so. But don't, you're right, because I was about to ask, like, don't women compete with each other anyway? No, not each other, us. No, but I mean, like, I'm just saying. Yeah, in, that's their business. In general, you t- we're talking about now, I'm talking about before. Like, they was complete. Females. Yeah, I'm talking about females complete, you know, competing with each other yeah, we do that. before understood. when they were just amongst each other. That's understood. Yeah, yeah. That. yeah. So why wouldn't they bring that to us if that's if that's their? Why wouldn't they? Yeah, they, they shouldn't. Mean, you're right. They they definitely shouldn't. But why wouldn't they? If that's what they used to. Well, we used to fight each other and anything in the ring, mm-hmm. but we still shouldn't go home and anything and fight her at home. We go home for peace. We go home for peace. Right. You know what I mean? No, not regular. <laughs> you, you, that you, how, that's not how it's going. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's going a whole different way. It's like, and there's nothing, not the, you know what I'm saying, a rap on um, women or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? It just, I noticed that maybe lately mm-hmm. that, you know what I'm saying, um, we, we, we welcome into we welcome into um, the room, mm-hmm. into the clubs and everything with open arms and say, like, yo, you want, you want that female or that woman, uh, Presence and anything, you know what I'm saying? Right. At the sports bar, right. whatever like that. But then when they start, you know what I'm saying, um, competing with Check you. Check out. Yeah, you be like, yo, come on, relax, man. You know what I mean? It's like, relax. You know what I'm you saying? It's like, it's like, we want to talk makeup, man. We don't belong in that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's not what we do. I'm not going to worry about you about Fenty and anything about right. uh, I can't around right. the Fenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Word up. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. That's just the thing that, you know, um, that we're different creatures. You know what I'm saying our movements are always going to be different than theirs. You know what I'm saying? So whatever we think and whatever we value, they might not value the same thing. You know what I'm saying? So unless you know what I'm saying, unless we teach them or they, you know, we you know, communicate to them effectively, you know what I mean, what that is, mm-hmm. they're gonna keep they're gonna continue to do that. I'm gonna you know? I'm tell you what it is. Single parents. I won't even say single mother. Ooh. But that's what I mean. What is it? Wait, 
Nah, listen. Nah, listen, listen. What are, what are single what are mothers doing? Listen to that trait. A plethora. <laughs> what else are you even doing? A plethora. God, I'm like, shit, man. Anything my color poor. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, what what do single mothers really think? Mm-hmm. I mean, you say Exactly. Yeah, because I was thinking the same thing. Niggas, right, right. 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 Yeah, niggas yeah, yeah, shit yeah. and get what you can from that food. Right. Yeah. Well, well, come on, uh, we know the answer to that. Yeah. You just need to be that. Mm-hmm. Now listen, I don't have an issue with that. Mm-hmm. But accept the consequences. Just like we have, mm-hmm. you understand? Mm-hmm. There's a playing field level. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But here, but I don't know. But what I know is, if you raise a female to be evil, you gotta pay the sex on both sides. You ain't pay. Never gonna see a male father say you can be a cheater, mm-hmm. you can be a victim of bars, mm-hmm. you can be a ballerina. That's not. But you no, know they'll say they'll say, well, mm-hmm. men been winning forever. That's what they'll say. They say you. But my thing is. All right, men, I'm going to agree with that. Men have been women forever, and they, they, you know what I'm saying, in the, in, in the battle sense. between the, the sexes. Right. Women have been women forever, and they think, but does that mean you have to lose now? Uh-huh. It just means like, yo, all right, we need to bring them up, and they think, or whatever like that, so that we all can be women at the same time. It don't mean like, yo, bring them up so they win, and then we start losing. Right. It ain't supposed to be like 500 years ago. Life changes. Remember, 100 years ago, man, work. Mm-hmm. Wake up, work. <laughs> wake up, work. Woman, wake up, take care of the family, feed male provide mm-hmm. you know over the past 40 years mm-hmm. it's changed mm-hmm. we're gonna now educate uh, take mm-hmm. education as far as we want whatever you stay home and play video games play, play video games you know sound cloud you know, YouTube mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. there's other uh, platforms for everybody but right. as far as the, the, the female aspect of it women are now educated mm-hmm. in many different ways and now they feel like So it's how they're raised, like, no matter what we talk about in life, it's how you're raised. And what, the way you're raised is what comes out. You know, how many times you meet somebody say, man, who was raised effed up? Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing with people. You know, she was raised. But listen, I'm going to judge a book by its cover. People say, don't do that. I'm going to do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We'll call a spade a spade. You can tell automatically. Oh, right. You have know, daddy issues. That means you're stripping. She might not be a stripper. She probably is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she, she got a good OnlyFans. Yeah, her OnlyFans is popping. Poppin'. Yeah. But see, that's the crazy thing about OnlyFans. But OnlyFans got all types of shits on there. Even how, how, many people, right how, many, who, how many people got like good job? On OnlyFans? How many people use it? Oh, zero. I've never been on OnlyFans. You ever thought they were starting a page? No. That's the funny thing. You asked me that on, uh, um, that. on uh, what's that, Anchor? Mm-hmm. No, not Anchor. Yeah, uh, the, uh, the anchor side. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? What's up? Why? What is stopping you from creating OnlyFans? <laughs> the same thing that's stopping you from creating OnlyFans. <laughs> I just want to answer. I mean, I don't want to answer. You got to answer. The same thing that's stopping you from creating the OnlyFans. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what, is, what is that? I'm confused. What the fuck just happened? Hold on. What, what is stopping you from making the OnlyFans? <laughs> Yo, H-O. <laughs> A-G. That ain't for, that's not for me. A-G, you want to do it? Get no. that money? No. Why? A-G. Would you? I would. I thought about it. You thought about it? Yeah. Many times. I think about that every day. Yo. Every day I think about it. Let me quit being no A- A-G, listen, man. You do know nothing's stopping you, right? <laughs> you mean you don't have to start your cigar company just to get rich on only Okay, so you know, just, you, actually, actually, man, actually, here's man. actually here's the yeah, thing. You could you could do your man. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I was about to say this shit. You can smoke. Hold on. You can smoke. Hold on. Like this. Exactly. You can <laughs> smoke. My bed, my bed shaped like a cutter. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yo. You could be puffing that shit well, into into the motherfucking camera. Smoke. What's stopping you? Say yo, if you want to, I don't want to. Listen, if you do, listen. This I'm not laughing. If you do, I'd manage. Listen, 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 it's not funny. I'm just laughing. But if you wanted to do one, I would just, you concentrate on the content. Bro. Mm-hmm. Damn. I'm laughing. Get on it. You 
first. Might be a, might be a niche. Shit, you first. I mean, I'm good. It's the rock. It's the rock. I mean, who wouldn't want to pay 15 a month to see the HNIC smoke cigars and talk shit? I got the question in the day, though. Mm-hmm. Back on? Mm-hmm. What would be your screen name? Hmm? <laughs> what would be your screen name? Bunch of underscores. Bunch of underscores. <laughs> I like that. That's okay. how you going to give it to them? Yeah. Underscores. Mm-hmm. That's how you coming? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pause. Pause. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yo, but no, but for real, that, that only finish that you pop. I know. Listen, man, not for nothing, though, man. Anything, listen, think about it. Let's say if you have a chick, and she said, I want to do an only fans, but I want you to be in it with me. Would you do it? No. You wouldn't do that either? Because why? Because, because, people because, I love because, because here's the thing, right? Yeah. Here's the thing, right? In the street life, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, going to that side of the game, right? Who do you respect more? Do you respect, as a man, do you respect the holler or do you respect the pen? Personally. Like, which one do you respect more? Pen. Why? I don't know. You don't know? Because I can tell you. Maybe maybe because he's the guy and and I'm biased. Or is it because it's it's a man? I don't just respect it's, management, though. That's just me. Not right, because right, management. right, because right. right, because what you're doing is you are at the very least, at the basic, you are convincing a woman to go out and sell whatever she's going to sell and bring you back all the money. Prostitution. Shit, man. Yeah. So, so if you're going to convince a regular female, say she's a nurse, mm-hmm. right? Your, your, your game, you're, you're, this ain't, this ain't hold hypothetical. Hold on, hold on. You're, 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 you're like, oh, you, you went in his pocket. Sure. You had this that, ain't hypothetical. You had that scene? All right, go now. Go ahead. Let me hear this. So, so, right, this so, story. Yeah, so okay. bringing that. So, right. how, how, how did it so, happen now? He about to let us know. He about to let us know. Right, so watch. So, so bringing it, so bringing it back to me. Hey, yo, Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cheers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, so bringing that back. Yeah, so so me bringing that back to being a feature on OnlyFans. Why would I be a feature hoe when I when I see myself as management? But you know the money. Right. So if she's so, right, right. So of course. But if if that's my girl, then the money's gonna be coming to me anyway. Do you think your friends? Do do you do you think like? Do you have any dreams that that like you have like hindrances to like do? Do your friends support all your dreams? Yeah. Yeah. You know I support you if you want to do this, right? Yeah, right. I'm sharing this shit. Right. I'm sharing that shit. Because right now it's, it sounds like you're trying to convince me. What would be the what's the hindrance to you? The fact that I don't want to do it. I mean, what more do you need? Hey, right now, do you have any hindrances to your uh, to you know since starting to host it off? Mm-hmm. No. Did anything stop you? Nah, because I felt like I can't let them stop me. That's just my, mm-hmm. my mantra. You know what I mean? I'm, right. I'm not saying I'm not trying to pat myself on the back. I'm an alpha. I see, I do. I see, I want, I get. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, so right. So when you when you want to do something, anything, do you ever look at it like, yo, um, maybe I won't do this because I ain't got the support. Of no, because I, I felt like it's necessary. It's, it's always necessary. Keep people around you that support. Let me say that. Mm-hmm. I don't keep people around me that support. Mm-hmm. Point blank. So on the other note, I, I think selfishly when it comes to things that I want, because having a cigar come in mm-hmm. is extra. It's not a necessity. It's something I like. I started for my cigar. I'm part of a lot of cigar groups and I love them. Mm-hmm. But I always feel like everything in life, I want my own. Mm-hmm. You want your own, it's yours. You got a joy. Mm-hmm. I like to have my own. Right. I don't care about being big. You want my clothes? My t shirt. You know, when somebody walk by, it, they're like, that's a nice shirt. Shit feels good. Mm-hmm. I designed that. I like that. And they like that. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not that I want to make money. I want people to enjoy what I'm You know, at first, you know, at first it was like people like, oh, that's dope. You should do this. I'm like, nah, I don't know. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But once you do it, and you understand, hey, man, I got something that other people want. You know, it don't have to be a greed thing. Mm-hmm. It could be a satisfaction thing. 
satisfaction comes in many ways. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. yeah. So that that's it's satisfying. I'm like, wow, that feels good that I got something to do with yours, you know, and, and peace in a comfortability standpoint, not not like a car, not like a way, not like a mm-hmm. fancy watch, something to sit back mm-hmm. uh, when you're done working. Not being frustrated. When you sit back and light this thing up, mm-hmm. you got my stuff on, that shows me like, man, when he thought about this, he went home and I put radio shit on. Mm-hmm. Right. Shit feels good. Man. No doubt. Yeah. See, that's, see, that's what, that's what that I like. Feels great. That's, that sounds like the beginning of a legacy. And right. there's not too many of those coming out these days. I mean, unless you're talking about, you know, certain legacies like... Ray is different. There you go. But um, certain, certain like web series or whatever, like Money and Violence or whatever, for time though, yeah, yeah. that started that started a legacy, or that started a that at least started a um explosion of new, of all these web series coming out. Definitely, listen, money and violence is definitely the grandfather of all these web series. Just enough, just enough. The father, definitely, 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 definitely the, the father. And anything, right? Um, like now you got like a bunch of different web series that come out, of, especially out of Brooklyn. Brooklyn, yeah. they got less go. And they're good. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, they're, they're good. good. The acting good. is good. The direction is good. Right. Everything is good. Amazing about it, or whatever. Amazing. So you got, um, you, you, you got, um, what's that? Let's go. You got uh, mm-hmm. the Brooklyn Way. Mm-hmm. Amazing. My man, um, my man doing the kind of thing. Oh man, I just lost it. Yeah. 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 You got respect life. Respect life. Oh, yeah. Respect life is actually. They came back, but they yeah. still they still walk in and put mellow though. Right. And they think um uh who else? You got Project Heat. Project Heat. Um, what was that one from uh, Cleveland that you were showing me? Um, something Heights. Yo, the hi- um. Heights girl. Heights girl. That was a good one. Got a lot of joints out there. A lot of joints. You know what I'm saying? Um, you got a lot of uh. Some of, some of the celebrities' podcasts are good. Right. They, they sound like, like I'd be straight up. Joe Budden got a good podcast, but he tends yeah. to believe that he's not a celebrity. I'm like, no, you're a celebrity. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you had a hit star. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, right, his final one was Bill Finn. Bill Finn yeah. Exactly. Um, so it's like he got a good podcast and everything, but it was, he had a, he had a little cheat code. Right. Or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, he had a door. His door was on there. Mm-hmm. Right. So it's not as good. Yeah, it's a good mm-hmm. podcast, though. And that, but there's a lot of people out there and they like about podcasts and these celebrities, and I'm like, is your fam taking food off the table and they being sent for all from all of the people? And they should have dry. Oh, yeah, and it's dry, and you take it, it's like people mm-hmm. run into you because of the name that was already out there right. and anything or whatever like that. So you start taking it. Look, man, I'm a grassroots public man. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I love to straight up say that, and I always say this, you know that. I say that me and you, we, the, the forefathers of this podcast. 
Y'all, how long y'all been doing podcasts? We started podcasting in what year? 15 years. Yep. 2006. Yep. What t- I know the answer to it. They, they might know. Where? Where did it start? In, a, in that barbershop. In the shop. And it was popular from day one. In the shop. That's right. right. Yep. But also, we was also in uh, the wing spot. Yeah, then we went to the wing spot. Well, that was the other thing. You know what I'm saying? We, yo, our podcast was audio first. And they strictly audio and anything. Um, it was a, a call radio. Show. It was, a, radio. it was an actual radio show. Portland show. It was internet radio, which is a podcast now. Mm-hmm. And, they, and then we started a different show, and they a video, which ended up being this right here, incorporated all into one, mm-hmm. which is this. And it was called uh, A Black Man's View. Mm-hmm. And they all on YouTube. I remember when y'all yeah. was doing all that. I used yeah. to get off the train and walk to the shop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Crazy, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yo, you look at how things grew and anything today. And, and I always say, like, yo, everything's consistency. If, you, if you're consistent with anything, you keep on, you know what I'm saying, you're rocking with it. Mm-hmm. Yo, you're gonna get you're gonna reap the reward rewards of it. You see a lot mm-hmm. of people now they get money from it. Yo, um, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to you know Maul and Rory and anything, you know what I'm saying, from Joe Budden Podcast. I mean, yeah. he just, yeah. you know what I'm saying, allegedly got ten million dollars the other day from Stitcher. Uh, right, right, right. You know what I mean? It's like they're doing very well. Bro, what's the first right. thing you're doing with ten mil? With ten mil? Once you got it, it's in the it's in the bank. Ten mil and anything, I'm gonna look out for everybody first. I gotta pay I gotta hit everybody else for first. Everybody who I think Sound like around me, my intimate circle. Mm-hmm. I gotta make sure they are high first. Mm-hmm. If at the end of all of that and anything, I still got six, seven, so I'm good. And anything, then I start doing the guy. I'm gonna stay where I'm gonna live where I live. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I'm just gonna live right there. I'm good. Mm-hmm. Um, heard up. Um, my brother told me I lived like a rapper. And anything, I was like, you talking hood rich. Yeah, hood rich. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna stay right where I'm at. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna, you know, I'm saying, tighten it up. That's all. I'm just asking now, so when you get it, you know, I, heard I ain't even gonna yell. Listen, man, I'm still gonna wear the same type of shit. I'm not mm-hmm. changing up. I'm not. I'm not doing all of that, man. You know what I mean? I know what money feel like. I know what it smell like. and look like. Yeah. So this is my second round. You know what I mean? Um, so you know what I mean? I just I'm just gonna relax. Yeah. Right. People probably wouldn't even know I got it. I'll be the worst one. Exotic animals. Exotic animals. So no exotic animals for you, because. G already know what I'm getting. Yeah, an, ele- an elephant named Harold. A what? With a with a platinum and an H class diamond uh, leash Blue tooth. tooth. Yeah, right. A, a Blue exactly. Tooth? Right, right. JBL. I looked up to you. Right. Right. A Bluetooth radio to the elephant. So, right now. Tail off his tail. Watch, Hell yeah. And I'm and I'm riding the elephant. Exactly. And I'll be on route one riding that motherfucker on the side too. I'm gonna have JC Money playing. Who that? Shit, you can have that. I'll have I'll have motherfucker Trent Daddy. Nah, for the what? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they don't know. Nah, fuck all that. Yo, Let me tell you something about Roman. Oh, he low key Batman. Why you say? Hold on, hold on. Why you say that? Y'all know how he pulled up on. I told him. I told him. Listen, he was like, yo. I asked him one day. I said, yo. I said, yo, what you, what you think of those joints? He was like, yo, I don't like those. He's like, this is whack. What are you talking about? The right guy. The big thing is that, um, the three wheel. The three wheel, the right guy. And then I pulled up with anything that day. He goes, what you riding? I showed him. Y'all like that shit, though. Hold on, wait. It's like Batman. Mm-hmm. I had to sit on it, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Like, you know, we're just looking at that shit. That shit is weird as fuck. Because that's the same thing. I can't see me on Now you got to ride it. I'm not riding. Right. Yo, just, yo, just go around the block one time. I'm gonna pull up on you this weekend. Yo, ride that joint. You got it outside. It's on somebody else's YouTube channel. Yo, mom, you got that shit outside? I know. I, I, I drove to that. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Yeah. 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 Next time, next time we pull up and do this podcast. I want to see this ride shit, that shit, shit, shit nigga on this shit. Nah, you see any <laughs> no, any free will, whatever. That's going This is gonna be either a slingshot or a T Rex. Already pricing your shits out too. T so Rexes are hard to find. It's either, right, it's either gonna be one of those. It don't matter. Yeah, I'm too real there, man. They already know that. Yeah, I, I, I was looking at. Um, I was thinking about getting a, a Harley or a Boulevard at first, and they then I don't know. I was looking. I wanted to go look at that just to see what it feel like. Yeah, I sat on that one. Grab, grab it. That's what you want. Word up. That's the beauty about life, man. That's what you want to get. Man, I like Coca Cola. You like Pepsi. Yeah. Word up. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, you watch um. You like Issa Rae? Is she a funny looking girl? Or is she? Like, I like her. 
She looks funny. Like, a little she bit, like, but I like her. She like somebody else who don't know it's collard green. You know, like what the? I don't what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where you got? Hold on, where you go to the you go to the picnic or the reunion, or whatever, and be yeah. like, "Yo, who made this potato I gotta salad?" Watch, I gotta watch so everybody else. All right, I'm gonna stay away from that shit. Yeah, That's yeah. How you feel about her? Yeah, she always she just put too much ketchup and shit in the motherfucking. Yeah, man. She the yellow star. In, in burst, everything. Man. Yeah. She a yellow star. Oh damn, you don't like banana star. Banana. Star I know they have banana star. I don't know. Yeah, they do. I have to fact check. As a dude your size, I trust you. Is that the dude? As a dude your size, I trust you. I trust you. First of all, nigga, you should trust me with everything. Yo, Easter video. I watch. I watch Insecure. I, I like Insecure. I like that show. Me, AG, What's it about? I think we're on the same. Yeah. What's it about? Insecure. Yeah. What's it about? What's it about? Thing. Uh, why are you gonna try acting? Like I don't watch it. It's about a chick growing no, up. I, no, I'm just, in LA. Yeah. A chick in LA and everything. She growing up. She going through like, you know, a rape of passage and everything. Of, you know, just dealing with relationships and stuff like that. And everything. And it's like, any hey, chick in her 20s and 80s, you know what I'm saying? Early 30s, late 20s. She can pass by. Um, she, um. Yellow star, but. She's a yellow star. But she, she, yeah. she insecure yeah. about her life and about things and about her choices that she made. You know what I mean? Um, right. But it's, it's dope, though. And mm-hmm. anything, it's dope. You know what I'm saying? Just to see like the stuff that she go through, whatever like that, with her uh, relationship, with her friends, or whatever like that. But nah, but when I was getting that, <laughs> he just oh, he said, they wouldn't cut into me. Why are you staring at me? Say what like you want to say, like you said. You can't. I just want to ask. I just want to ask why she got beef with the AKA. That's all. It I ain't want to know. her. That's Whoa. all I'm gonna say. It ain't her. That's all I want to know. Is the other chick? Well, she's a writer, but is the other chick? Um, um, what's her name? Angela Rye? <laughs> Damn, I'm gonna say it wrong. Amanda Seals. Amanda Seals. Amanda Se- oh, for Whoa, hold on. Fan. Yeah, exactly. I was about to say, I'm like, Amanda Seals? I'm a fan. The same motherfucker like, from, uh, uh, what's, that, what's, that, what's that chick show? Amanda said, you're a fan? A visual. Just a visual. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's, yeah, right. she's, she's right. vicious, yo. Yeah, now, nah, she look good. I can't find her. She look good. I like the girl. Uh, uh, Her mouth is crazy. Pause. Nah, I ain't pausing. Pause. <laughs> what? what? Play your fast forward. Yo, she be saying, yo, she be doing some crazy stuff. She be saying stuff. I want to hug her. Okay, yeah. Definitely. You know how husband is, right? Who? The dude on Insecure. She do she married on Insecure. That's her real husband. And they, they, but uh, I think in Puerto Rico, yeah. Two minutes. Don't care. <laughs> it's two minutes. So you, you, yeah. Yo, um, but like, she, I don't like, I don't, I don't like. Night, it's like five minutes. Five minutes, we do a lot of running. A lot of running? A lot of running. You pull out the 30 oh, man, oh, oh, boy, what are you talking about? Two minutes. Curses. Shit, I, I, she not, she like, not like, even that. But what? I'll pull out that little twenty two. I got my motherfucking boot right here. No, I got an issue with that chick can look extremely good. Too much she got, she got too much mouth. I know. Mm-hmm. I can't do it. I know. You right. I can't do it. I can't. I don't like to be in a room with her. I'm telling you, you saw her earlier. That's a turn off. Yeah, that's a turn off. That's, that's a total turn off. That's what you're supposed to say. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. like, all right, relax, sure. Just relax. I mean, I love no, you, you know, you know what you. it is? I'm going to say, she I'm gonna say you what I don't like. You saw it. Right, or just the way she she looked like when you get into an argument with her, she pull out a whole bunch of dictionary words they like to try to stump you thinking that you don't know what the fuck they mean. Can I bring out can I bring in somebody from outside? She I got her in that same category with Gabrielle. Oh, I can't, I can't right. stand that motherfucking. I got I got I got, I can't stand that motherfucking Rest in bitch face. I got she, a man I got a man that's in the same I got a man that seals and everything in the same category with uh no, because Amanda Seals ain't that smart. I'll put it like that. I don't, think, I don't think Amanda Seals is that smart. No. Because I've seen her. No, because I've seen her. Not because I've seen her on that show. No, she, one thing she, I'm she, not going to say. She's, nah, she's, 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 she's like, she's definitely she's smart. She, she, she do yeah, but she ratchet, though. She, 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 a, she a ratchet with a bachelor's degree. I like that. Yeah, but I know she you know what I'm saying? Issa Yo, Issa Yo, Issa Rae is like. She do this. Yeah, Issa Rae don't do that. That's cook- no, Issa Rae pull, that pull, Issa Rae that pull out that fucking no. speck of shit right there, yeah. thinking that she's Issa Rae is not going to a cookout. Not only is she not going right. to a cookout. You gotta watch Insecure. Yeah, not only she had. She had. Yo, yo, not only is she not going to a cookout. She going to a she going to a hipster bar where they serve that shit over there to your left. That speck of shit, and they got fucking uh what, yellow velvet all over the place. What's your opinion on speck? Hmm. You don't like. Vodka drink. Oh, you don't drink vodka? I didn't know that. No. You 
But basically, it was you said that. So, so every other time I speak that, it's not, it's not, there's no bass in my voice? What happened with you and Yeah, man. What, what happened with you and Lockett? Tell, tell me your story. Who hurt you? Okay, so there, was, so, there was, so there was this chick named Karen, right? And uh, uh, we got her. She, well, she tried to get into a verbal argument. Was she a nurse? No, she wasn't a nurse. Was. Well, at least I don't think so. It was a... Uh, I mean, you're talking about... It was a... No, it was just... All it, it was just, yeah, it was just out. It was, yeah, it was just out and about. She wanted to have an argument with me, and she had that, you know, that Karen, uh, that Karen uh, haircut. You know what I'm saying? With that long in the front, and short was, in the back. She had a hand cross with the armpit squeeze. Exactly. Right there. Yeah, and she was right. Yeah, all of that. Yeah, with a thumbs under it too. You know what I'm saying? That shit is yeah, yeah, and she, you know what I'm saying? She was wearing. Uh, hold on, how you wear a yo? How you wear a see-through yoga pants? But you got more butt in the front than you got in the back. Oh, alright. I thought you were saying somebody. Like, and that she that was that? and she was right. But what did I see through yoga pants? I want to get those. Oh, you never seen those? Oh, you never seen those? Yeah, I With a little, yo. Taking those home. I give you a pair. Yo, on the side, on the side note, my neighbor, she's a uh, Korean. Uh, she wear, no. yo, she was, yo, she was wearing them gray shits. Nah, she, she got a little. Oh, back there. I'm picking up my. She got a little. Oh. No, no, no. She's being I'm, the she's being the knees and a thousand and five years old. But anyway, my Korean, yeah, yeah, yeah. my Korean neighbor, <laughs> nah, my Korean, nah. Put that in reverse. Back up. Anyway, anyway, yeah. Anyway, damn your neighbor. Damn your little stinky, stupid ass neighborhood. Right? Damn my neighborhood. All you want. What do you want? It's a quiet. I'm comfortable. Anyway, a little more baby left. Yeah. <laughs> Word up. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah. I like Issa Rae. I don't yeah. like Amanda Seals. I'm sorry. Okay, I can have that. That's cool. I, I think they're four. That's cool. They're four. Who's walking out the room? Issa. I think Issa's going to like. Amanda ain't really got that real fight. They, 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 was, they wasn't even fighting. They wasn't even talking to each other. I think they beefing now. I think they beefing in real life. She drank this. I ain't never seen nobody lose off that. Facts. And she likes you. She's fighting for her motherfucking life. Hell like yeah. Kelly said. Hell yeah. It's spring. Man, you bring that food up. Yo, let's listen. Mm. <laughs> yeah, because we start talking about him. Kelly, yeah, I, 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 I ain't even going to get into art, though, but I just want to ask one thing. Okay. Just one thing. I don't see you nothing wrong. <laughs> That's what I want to ask. I hear you calling. Do you stop listening to his music? Nope. Nope. Right. You just ain't fucking with him. That's how, that's how I feel. Nah. Because you didn't, you didn't delete all his songs out No, no. Can I, can I, can I be, uh, damn. Mm-hmm. It is. Uh, I don't even know how to say this without sounding like a hypocrite. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that man's a musical genius. Yes. Yeah. Personal? I don't know him personally. Mm-hmm. It's music. Let's take it for what it is. Mm-hmm. And then, man, like, if we sat in the same room, same circle, we off him, right? Mm-hmm. Don't we? Mm-hmm. You know? But musically, I, I, man, I love his music. I can't lie. Mm-hmm. But every time he plays, you think about it. But, I mean, we can do that with a lot of people. Okay. But, what do you, but what do you think about those? I don't. I don't. I mean, because no, I, mean, I know like, what happened. I'm not close enough to the situation sure. to care. You There's think, certain things I got an opinion on, and anything or whatever, is the, it's the clear cut shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, why why would you, why you want to marry that young girl? Number one. Number talking two, about Aaliyah? Aaliyah. You wild. You wild. Wild. Grown, grown man. The grown man. Why would you even want it? Why? Man, that's all right, now, 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 I'm gonna, now I'm gonna go further with this. I, I didn't want to. Cause I man, didn't want it's to. not even deep in R. Kelly, but I'm looking at everybody. Can I say it real quick? Can I say it real quick? I know what I'm talking about. Her parents. Her parents. That, that's a problem. Mm-hmm. But it's like everybody was checking for Aaliyah until she passed. She's a little girl, man. Child. Yo, she was, when she passed, she was 22. So how old was she when she, when she was in the videos? Quick, quick, damn in her, man. She's 20. Like, what y'all doing with this 20-year-old girl? What y'all doing? Yo, I, I had her when she was 15 and wow. 16, 15, 16. And then they had her when she was 19 and 20. Mm-hmm. What y'all doing with this little girl, man? Yeah, but bro. Like, how did y'all even let's, listen to her think hey, she was sexy? I, I got two words. Let's, let's not rock the, on rock the boat, I didn't even look at that. I never did even saw that Listen video. to the words. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, but I'm saying listen to the words of Rock the Boat. Yeah, fam. 
Yeah. I'm listening to that and I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm not even seeing her. I'm looking at the chick on the side, on the right, with, I think she's on the right or the left, and she got like the curly wild hair. Oh, the white skin one? She was like brown, brown lights and brown. Yeah. She was just she's thick. Mm-hmm. That's why I saw her. Mm-hmm. I didn't see Aaliyah. It was no, yo, I couldn't look at her like that, man. Up until the day she passed. I couldn't see her. I'm, like I'm, char- I'm a charge. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm charging that whole situation to the game. Charging that to the game. Corporate pimp. Yeah. That's what happened. We watch, and everybody watched it go down. Now we want to lock them up. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm not defending yeah, them, man. Yeah, I'm, no just, I'm just no calling doubt. the situation what it is. Right now. That's what we're doing now? Yeah. Right. How long ago was that? Yeah. How long have we been dead? Yeah. So She's been dead Probably since right. 2001. But, but that's it's been 20 years. But that's the thing. That whole cancel culture. Cancel, cancel culture is kind of weird, man. It's a weird thing. Yeah, it's like, it's like, how do you, so here's the thing, right? Today's era, mm-hmm. we're looking in the past through, like, we're judging the past through today's lens. It's just mm-hmm. Me Too, you know what I'm saying? Cancel culture, mm-hmm. right? Back in the days, right? Like, we're all, like, all three of us here, we're men of a certain age, right? We're all over 30, right? So we're old enough to remember back when. Bro, I mean, bro, about to curse us out. Go ahead, though. You mean, we're old with that. Yeah, I'm way old 30. I'm t- damn near twice 30. Anyway, okay, anyway, but <laughs> Adam look for I look for Well, look, a truck driver? 32, 33. What do you look? Well, you just pulled an 18 wheeler into the parking lot. What? You did it. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. But anyway. That's cool. <laughs> Bro, you alright? <laughs> Cause I got hit. Bro, what happened? <laughs> You man, he's like a large appetite. <laughs> largest. <laughs> the largest. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Anyway, oh. that's my ace boom boom, man. Yeah. yeah that's, that's beloved right there, you know what I'm saying? But anyway. <laughs> you remember, hold on. You, hold on, bro. I'm going to ask you. I'm trying to hold it together, man. Let me drink this. I'm going to ask you. Do you, remember, do you remember when you was going to high school? And you, you remember like like some of the chicks that you went to school with getting picked up by by dudes that were in there like you know over eighteen nah. twenty like oh you don't you nah. don't because I do that didn't happen there was a chick there was a chick I was messing with right Filipino chick she was dealing with a dude yeah she was like we was, <laughs> was both like fifteen sixteen yo she was bad as hell right hold up wait dog she was dealing with a dude who's twenty the hey, dudes, uh, but the dudes who were picking up the chicks that's what my my school was about. What's up, Ray? What's up? What's up? What happened now? What happened now? The dude, the dude was picking up my chicks. My chicks. The chicks at my school, it was like 18. And the chicks was like 16, 17. They was just fresh out of high school. You know what I'm saying? A year out, or two years out. Mm-hmm. What, grown men? Come on, man. Can you, you start that over with? Start what over with? I said, chick, talking to a high school. Oh, shit. Let me catch you. He said the chick I was talking to. When we, when we were both in high school. Yeah, she was what? National? <laughs> She's Filipino. Uh, and what happened? Anyway, so me and her, we was messing around. <laughs> but her boyfriend was like 24. <laughs> Why she can't, she can't have a boyfriend? She can't have a boyfriend. What was his nationality? He's Filipino too. But, right. but the point was, is that, is that, is that, is that, is that, you look like a little bit. Yeah. But you can get away with that shit. Yeah. I probably, I can get away with a lot of shit. Yeah, you but you talk like this. <laughs> <laughs> you wearing the shirt of the motherfuckers that talk like that. Filipinos don't wear it. Yeah, I know, but Mexicans do. Say that's Cuban. Are you strapped? What's your difference? Are you strapped right now? That's mm-hmm. right. Are you strapped? Because you like the look on your face like, yo, you going to shoot shit steel. out the deal. So they going to pull the steel out. Yo, are you strapped right now? Relax. Are you strapped? Give me water. Yeah, man. Don't hurt, Ray. Because I, I see the look on your face, man. <laughs> you like, yo. Yeah. The monster were crazy. All right, so keep anyway. telling us, man. Tell us about, um, what you going to call it? Anyway, the point is, is that it's a different era today. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Back in the days, it wasn't, it wasn't, like, it wasn't really. 
it wasn't really looked down upon somebody who was like in their mid, in, you know what I'm saying, in their mid twenties. So, uh, so pick it up, pick it up. With, yeah, I know. But what I'm saying is that it's a different, it's a different era. So judging somebody like R. Kelly, you know what I'm saying, for dealing with Aaliyah back in the days when that wasn't like nobody, nobody cared, nobody looked at that. You know, nobody really cared about, you know what I'm saying, them, you know what I'm saying, messing around together. Getting married, they got it in nose about like a month later. That's the girl. You know what I'm saying? I'm even friend. even even with the chick he was on he was on uh the video with, you know what I'm saying, allegedly peeing. That was well, I'm, 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 let me speak real listen. Like I said, I'm charging that to the end. Then again, the exposure that is now wasn't then. We still think it was on paper. We still had check magazines. We still had stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like nah, stuff was. So whatever was published had to be really, really relevant. So it wasn't like right. social media where ah, it's right now. Right now, if I tweet, I kill it, do something, everybody knows I can't do it right. anymore. And then it had to be printed. It wasn't on Facebook. Mm -hmm. It wasn't Twitter, Instagram, anything live. There was no live anything except for everybody me. Everybody which still was right. delayed. Right. Which still was delayed. Mm -hmm. Right now, if you compare now to then, going live on your phone now is more accurate and faster than live uh, news back then at that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying mm -hmm. right now, like I said, I charge all that shit to the game. Right. Yeah, I always, always wild. I don't care about, I don't, I don't give a shit about no yeah, ours, school, man. They know what you for. Right. They know what you for. nobody pulling up to right. the school. And, they, and as a man, you know, this is like, as a grown man, we don't want nothing now, y'all. What you want that for? Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. What's there for you? Agreed. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. That's, yeah. She wasn't even, yo, the, the chicks nowadays, like, I've seen young girls and they, and I'm like, this yo, how old is she? And they, I'm like, this yo, what the fuck, yo? She like a grown woman, right? Tie your shirt around, tie your sweater around your waist, little shorty, yeah. whatever like that. Mm -hmm. Like a grown woman. Yep. I'll even leave like a grown woman when she passed, bro. Right? Yeah. No. Yo, that's why, I, that's why I be fucking. Yeah. I'm like, she ain't fell what did y'all, she even fill in yet? Like, well, what was y'all looking at? At that time, nobody was touching our kids. Yeah, what was y'all looking at? Pick it a little, he had what he wanted. And not only did he, listen, that's I don't care I what the circumstances were. Yeah. Like, he, like he wanted her for keys. Right. But but here's the thing is that that's not what he got convicted for. I and Aaliyah had nothing to do with it. No, no, we're not talking about conviction. We're talking about just behaviors leading up to it. It's like, yeah. yo, you saw that first. You know what I'm saying? Why ain't nobody like, yo, fam, what is you doing? It, it, mm -hmm. right. it wasn't right. You know what I mean? He was dead wrong from that day on. From that day on. Now, whatever he did before him, but I mean, from that day on, mm -hmm. he So it's like, I don't know, man. I, I just, yeah. but I, I, I like his song. I love his song. I play that music. I play that music. Um, I'm not going to delete them. He got way too many albums. That's a lot. If you deleted all, if you deleted all his music, how much that cost? If you had to pay, if you had to pay. Yeah, I mean, you look at that. But I can't remember. But you guys, right? And that's that's just his body of work. What about the people? What about the people he wrote for? That he produced and everything. Like, and that's that's you know what I'm saying. Really, in the hundreds. He did, a lot, he did a lot of shit. He probably I forgot who said it, but it, everybody right, said everything's good when it's good for you. Mm -hmm. You know, sure. when it's right for people, it's good for them. Right. Yeah. And that's how. And now, now they turn around and turn it. Yeah, yeah. I, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I feel like, wait, I, I feel like, well, I actually, I feel a little stronger about the situation with the kid, uh, Tory Lanez. Like, I'm still kind of. I don't I'm like. Know. Ain't nobody show me that he, he shot her yet. Right. More, I, I don't honestly. It's gonna take a long time for us to get the truth out of that. Yeah, no. To me, we I know we know the justice system. Mm -hmm. You a star, mm -hmm. something right. I can't charge Tory for none of that. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's too easy to give him. Yep. Yeah. Right. I don't think that. I don't think that that kid shot that chick. You don't shoot no. Yo, fam, you don't shoot nobody in both feet and no bullets touch a bone or um or lacerated muscle or nothing. Right. You don't get shot. No tendons. No yeah. bones. No nothing. Yeah, you she, she get shot both feet. That's like lightning strike twice. But don't, you know what I'm saying? But at, at the same spot. You be in a metal box with a 22 to get shot. Yeah, exactly. It's like you don't get shot in the feet and That's then go on, hold on, and then go on stage with your feet wrapped up in some band aids and you still twerking on stage. She got that thing. You know what? She, can, she, I, yo, can I be honest with you about something? You think, you think that thing is right? She paid for a bill. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, can I, yo, what you can't. Yo, what you mean? What you mean? What do you mean she paid for her? That ain't no down bottom booty. 
Yeah. That shit costs money. That ain't no that ain't no pork fat. The back of the bottom of the park, Mississippi. But so instead of that shit being made by God, that shit was that shit was put on there by Doctor Miami. Oh, she paid for it. Hers. That's her body. She paid for it. Oh yeah, of course. Well, I said yeah. you were trying to say yeah, just like you're saying that. You're saying, that. Well, like she paid for everything, but she ain't a sheep. Oh no! Nah. Oh no! Nah, don't do that to me. Oh damn! I, th- nah, I thought that's what you were saying. No, no, saying. no, no, no. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, let's let's do a one eight. Nah, get away from that. Right, 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 yeah, yeah. I thought that's what you were saying. Yeah, before we cancel like Dave Chappelle. How bad? They ain't gonna happen. He can't be canceled. Dave ain't canceled. I know. Hey, can I say this? He can't be canceled. They ain't gonna touch you. Dave is a church. Church. I think so. They not touch you. You know what I'm saying? Because Dave know how to do it. He did it the right way. Mm-hmm. Cause for real, for real, Dave know that he really don't need this shit. He good. Dave could go to Target parking lot, I'm sure. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Cause he got the people. That's the one that's the one thing about like when you talk about corporate corporate pimping, you know what I'm saying? And like that is all predicated on like the system that they created. You know what I'm saying? Them being like autonomous in that system. You know what I'm saying? And them making the rules, you know what I'm saying? Then them doing whatever they want. But if you got the people on your side, you know what I mean? That's your, that's his leverage. Dave surpassed Dave surpassed cancel book. I'm a, can I yeah. can I go as far as saying you can't be canceled because it's not his love. You got to support everybody. Right, that's what I'm saying. The people. Every color, white and black, mm-hmm. Puerto right. Rican and Haitian. Right. When I say the people, I mean everybody. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that's down here, street level, the nine to five jobs. And and us three, I know mm-hmm. as far as us three, I can only speak for us. Mm-hmm. We're fans of comedy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 When you start when you start trying to cancel comedians as if they preach it. They 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 in front of a pulpit and they in a pulpit and they, they preach it to you know a, a choir or whatever that like yeah, everything man, that they're saying is 100 yeah, percent like, no, exactly what, what they do. They're they not trying to dissect the Bible. And they mm-hmm. they telling jokes. Bro. Mm-hmm. You know I mean, that, that shit get kind of crazy, man. I, I, like, I can see it on the political level. You're talking about the money. Mm-hmm. You're talking about ideology. You're talking about ideology. Yeah, you can see it on. You see it on religion. Yeah, you, you, don't about about you don't got mm-hmm. to hit play. You don't got to hit play. Mm-hmm. You cannot watch this without on accident. Mm-hmm. Nope. Yeah, easily. Turn away, walk away. Mm-hmm. Now, I didn't say people say, oh, you good over there. This dude get bullied in, and this one, that affects my money. Mm-hmm. One way or another, might not be crazy. But anyway, mm-hmm. it's probably on the touch one. Yo, let me ask you. What's this, what's this shit that people say that you hear a lot of, like people say that you just feel like it's just straight bullshit? Cancel. <laughs> they cancel shit. I heard some shit the other day. Oh, shit. I heard some shit on the internet. Mm-hmm. One, one, you know, one of them reels on uh, Instagram. Dude said, yeah, you got to have eight streams of income and this, that, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, to be successful. Today. Generation. I said, fam, you know what the fuck out of here. Generational fraud. Yeah, generational fraud. Yo, fam, if you can't focus on eight things today, you know what I'm saying? It's sure to create wealth. It's like, yo, stop telling people lies, man. Stop with all of this nonsense. I hear, it's like, yeah, well, man, last man. week I hit the fucking, uh, uh, my age reality. Like, what I'm saying, like, I, I hit somebody said something to me, mm-hmm. and realize I'm realize I'm done. Mm-hmm. You know what I thought was from? Yeah. Kid said something to me, and I was like, I'm done. Yo, remember how we always grew up when somebody older said something? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a little same shit. Mm-hmm. Yo, we're done. We're old. We're out. Yo, I've been there. <laughs> I've been there. Yeah, but you know what? Yo. The older coaches look at me and I got a connection with them. A little bit. You, you but teeter, but though. You teeter. You right yeah, you're you, closer, you're right there. You're closer I'm, closer to I'm not with it, but I get it. Mm-hmm. You know what right. I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm at. Right. And it's like, yo. You have to understand it. You understand half the my memories, sides. Half of my memories ain't on I bring that back to a uh, Jay Z verse from years ago. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm young enough know, to know what car to drive, old enough to know not to put rims on. 
that kind of 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 really sums it up for us. But as far as like as far as like the kids, they grew up with a whole lot more than what we did. Even if like like even if they weren't they, they, they you know what I'm saying they didn't get like what a like what a regular middle class kid got. They still grew up with more like access to information data and all this stuff coming in streams and yo you look at this and yo check this out and yo we're doing this now and everything you know what I'm saying is like that fast you know what I'm saying so, you know, 24 hour news cycle we don't you know the I'm part of I'm a Freemason man. right we'll do set something we'll look at life we'll look at the price of juice we'll look at the price of sex and that's the way we live how much is, how much is juice Four dollars. I'm on the cheap, like one or two. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. easy. It's easy to fuck up. It takes more than the right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. So when you got these young kids, you want to go to college? They see the jokers at home streaming. Mm -hmm. You playing video games? You pay. But that, but that, but that's 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 um. That's the rules and everything um, on your way up, right. on your way growing up. Mm -hmm. And when you get to a certain age, though, it's cheaper. It, it, it's cheaper for you to do the right thing. It's cheaper. I sent my mm -hmm. ass home now. Do you think, you think <laughs> uh, the next two generations are going to believe that? Oh, no. Through COVID? Through all this? Oh, no, no. Hell no. Access media shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shit, we didn't believe that when we were growing yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. I, did, I definitely, you know, well, listen, I, did, we you know had, I did. It was, yeah. when we grew up, it was three things, sports. Music, drugs, okay. and women. I mean, can I, I hate to say it, aside from genres that we ain't associated with, right? Drugs come with that. Right. You know, making money come with that. Mm -hmm. But it's either college, something like that, or sports. Right. Now, how many y'all let's say that? Oh, yeah. That's what it is. But we didn't have the opportunity. So, like I said, I, I'm, like you said, I'm, I'm in between. I tell you, and I get it. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we think it's fucked up. But at the same time, how am I telling you you can't do that? You can. Right. You can. But, but it's hard, Adam. Yeah. To no, I know, you. I know. But, but it's like, hard to explain. It's hard, it's hard it's to explain. Right, it's right. right. especially to explain. But it's hard to explain. It is. Yeah. But how am I telling you you can't be a YouTuber? That's the, that, it, it, that, that it, word is not right. dumb. Right, but you, it's right, but you can't, you can't, you can't even say that. Like when you say it, and they you looking at you, as you saying it, you looking like this, damn, but there's YouTubers. Yeah, that's how you get people to stop. Right. You want to see somebody get off their phone and say YouTuber in a room full of grown men. YouTuber, they look they like this. They're like, what? Right. But here's the thing is, <laughs> when I'm talking about kids, it's like, you can literally tell them today, you can do absolutely anything. You know what I'm saying? Especially right. if that's what they're into. Right. You know what I'm saying? The only thing I would say is focus. And determination. It's like if that's what you really want to do, especially you know, what I'm saying you're a coach, right? right? I'd say about most of your kids have got aspirations on going to college and playing football, eventually, uh, professionally. Yes. But as a coach, for a while, you already know what the deal is. You know the percentage of, of them kids is like to, to to get into like college is slim, and then to even go pro is even slimmer than that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, but the only thing with that is, it's just like me and this, this, gonna yeah. be, this is going to be put on my So right. I, know, I know my kids can right now. Right. That's another thing. Right. There's nothing I can say here, mm -hmm. do here that I can catch my kid. Right. Because they can watch it and they know how to get it. Mm -hmm. Okay, a lot of kids. Oh, you said know. what? Mm -hmm. you, did, you went to what? Mm -hmm. They're going to look it up. Right. They're going to look it up. You can't right. lie to these kids and I don't. I look at hey, blah, blah, blah. But these kids ain't stupid either. A lot of them know too. They're like, I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to try to do this. I'm an entrepreneur. They do know these things, but entrepreneur to us means start a clothing line. That's where we grew up. I'm going to start a clothing line. I'm a rap. I'm going to be a producer. I got my right. own studio. You don't hear that anymore. Right. These kids, when they say entrepreneur, you got to think, oh, I'm going to be like, hey, what's it mean? Mm -hmm. Like I asked, like, what do you want to do? You're like, oh, well, this, blah, blah. So there's so many outlets. It's different. So, so let me right. ask you that. So, so with that being said, um, the whole, when I said, uh, when I saw somebody online the other day, and it happened to be a young man, he was like in his 20s. He said uh, about the eight streams of income. Is that far fetched then? Nope. It's not far fetched now. It's, it's not far fetched, but it's it's like if, if your goal is to be successful <laughs> in business, right. you know what I'm saying? Then eight streams of income is not going to do it. Like the old adage, you know what I'm saying? Why do you say that? 
because it splits because at the very least your attention and your focus and your energy is split eight problem. different ways. That's why I said it was a problem. Not, and it's too much. I, I agree. But you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm talking about that to, be, to happen. Yeah. Well, no, people can do it. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you'll sacrifice, you'll like, sacrifice basically your whole life I could do, to do that. I could probably say five real quick. Give me, give me a five. Okay. You could be um, a truck driver. Mm-hmm. A truck driver is beautiful. Okay. Because mm-hmm. okay. you uh, work for Amazon. Mm-hmm. And you deliver for Amazon. Right. You have your own YouTube channel and have it uh, mm-hmm. somewhere monetized. Right. That's five right there. And they'll, 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 count, right. they'll count cryptocurrency as another thing. I'm so saying. Right, but yeah, but that's well, more. Well, that's more or less passive. No, like, I, 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 if, you con- if you constantly watching it, they say they use that right, because yeah. he used that. Right. This guy, he used that. He said you got your cryptocurrency. He said your Uber driver. Oh, he, he named a whole bunch. Of so he's talking about passive income. He's not talking about actually no, active I'm not, businesses I'm not, that he I'm set up, up because that, that is he has to work all that shit is it, No, it is a business, but I mean like income, but it, yeah. there's minuscule things in life that we don't consider because we're older and we're hustlers. The problem with our generation, and we do have problems. Don't don't get don't get twisted because I think about it all the time. Yeah. We're so used to working so hard. Yeah, yeah. We used to work so hard like this. I mean, blood, sweat, and tears involved. Man, right? we get disconnected from the fact that there are ways not to do that. Mm-hmm. We yeah. just laugh upon it, and, and I do it. Shit, mm-hmm. yeah, I do it because I'm like, man, that's corny. Man. Right. Well, we're brick and mortar. Okay. Like that's we were, like we remember going to like if we wanted to go get fresh. Going down to Broad Street or going over to New York or whatever, and actually going into a store and buying what you need. Right. These kids is Amazon, right. or they order something from from Nordstrom Rack online or whatever, right. get that thing right. in like one day. I'm but torn, that's I'm torn between yeah. I, 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 that's I do a, it. I be teetering yeah. with them kids the way you do, even though I'm I'm, I'm much older. And it's because those kids and anything, like you said, they only understand anything the fast way to get things and the right. easy way to get things. Right. Like they they don't understand like that grind or whatever. I barely understand. You know what I'm saying? I barely, because you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I haven't worked, you know what I'm saying, all my life. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know what I did. Right. Yeah. Um, but, but, he, but when I did it, and anything, you know what I'm saying? I, I, did, I, I didn't, you know, I grinded in the same way that somebody who did, and not who I did. And they did in the sense of, I didn't like the party. I didn't like going and hanging out and all that stuff like that. Right. I didn't want to go to all the, like, the, you know what I'm saying, the what's happening, and, who, and to be around a who's who, whatever, like that. When everybody went to go to like Freak Nicks and you know what I'm saying, and to check the rackets and all that stuff, I was like this. And, and a Greek fest and stuff, I was like, I'm going to be getting money while y'all going. Right. And anything like that. Right. And right. to be honest with you, that was how I kind of, you know what I'm saying, like that. that's how I catapulted, you know what I'm saying, upwards and anything. So I started shooting up there at everybody. Because right. I was willing to do this stuff that everybody wasn't doing. Right. Well, I didn't want to chase and run and have parties and, and do all that stuff like that. I was like, this, yo, I'm going to get the money. Right. And they, you know what I mean? So. so maybe- I need to get somebody, and I got a guy. I got to get somebody on with you that is different from us. Cause we all just want to say we all cry for you. Know, mm-hmm. We all play and just you know, I, I didn't do stuff that's stupid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now we all did. Okay. But at the same time, you know, I, I get I get on the side, and I agree with you saying we mm-hmm. don't think like that. So I, it's hard for yeah. us to put ourselves in them shoes because we don't think like that. Right. You know, it, it, it's still corny to me, but I get it. It's mm-hmm. still yeah. corny to me. No matter what they say, that's corny. Cool. Yeah. Like, but I get it. Like there was this kid, right? He's on uh he's actually on YouTube. He's like 16, 17 years years old, right? And he he's in the computers, right? Wow. Nerdy kid, right? Sure. So he actually made one of these things called NFTs, right? And I actually had to look this shit up because I don't well, know what it is. Right. right. So he sold this one little this NFT for twenty million dollars. So, and you should see this. You should see this shit. All it is is like it's like some like blocky pixelated thing yeah. that that basically you know what I'm saying that basically you saw in like an eighties in like an eighties movie you know what I'm saying but somebody bought the thing for twenty million well, you know what I'm saying and that's find a way to make it work. he did it exactly so and I'm, I, I'm jealous I'm just like, not at all no no absolutely because that's something that anybody could do. And that's something that people are doing now. Like the NFT market is, is booming now because of things like that. People buying them things for like 10 million, he, 20, he 50, 100. Right, he, right. Something like that. He opened the door. It's like, digital, but, but it's like a digital time capsule. Right. That's what it, all, that's what it is. Exactly. And so it's like when everything, when, when they, and then like, this, this is how they're doing it. They're forecasting that all of this tangible shit is going to be gone. 
and they drink and they like this show. So somebody's gonna have to own, you know what I'm saying, the shit that's not tangible. Right, and have another their own problem. And they're gonna be like this show. If you could be like this show, so you you wanna allow people to see it or no? Anybody like this show, I'll let people see it now. You're gonna be in charge of that, so now you can charge people whatever you want. So everybody who might wanna see that in the art gallery later on, it's mm-hmm. up to that kid, the person who bought it for right. the ten million. Right. They can be like this, I'll show it to people. Whatever right. like that, and they can charge whatever they want. Right. You know what I mean? Like Wu Tang, they got a uh, Mark they, Screlly. Mark Screlly sure. bought it, and they and, and what was it for fifty million or something like that? No, for one million. For one million. And then it's, now their it government sold yeah. it for four million to this, right. this company and anything, right? right? But Rizza said you're not allowed to share it with the general public, and they didn't say he was like, unless we sign up and say yeah. Right. He was like this. So now they can only listen to it like in a private room, right? Like, amongst themselves. But they still can't. That. You know what I'm saying? Still it's crazy, right? On the side though, it's my back in my world, going back to YouTube. But that was an NFT. That that was like the idea. Yeah, that, that was right. That was like the right. early format. Back to the stream, yeah. Or the, the YouTuber, uh, whatever you want to call it. This dude, shout out to Destroy. Destroy was a kicker from uh, UCF, uh, University of Central Florida. Mm-hmm. Obviously, we, mm-hmm. he was a kicker in school. He was still in college. Mm-hmm. He started the YouTube. Looks like a little secret, but it's a kick. Mm-hmm. Starts a YouTube channel, bubble boom. I started banging off. Next thing you know, YouTube got paid on the monitor. Mm-hmm. Right. I was good. Yeah. You can't, you can't even see the money. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. I think about right. that. Right. So now that was years ago. Mm-hmm. Now we all know. Now, now we can do it. Now, don't get me wrong, he's well off now. Yeah. Again, yeah. shout out to Destroy. Uh, this channel is back. You gotta mm-hmm. check him out, Destroy. Oh, hold uh, on. Real quick. I just want to ask one question about that. Um, did that have anything to do with the NCAA um, saying that? Uh, yes, yeah. Because you know, what I'm saying, look, you know, the college kids, you know, they wear they wear brands and everything, mm-hmm. right? That they weren't allowed to get any uh, they, they any, any of the uh, right. uh, any of the royalties they, they or whatever. They don't realize whatever. that they got him paid. Right. That got him exposure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know uh, what, what's the Man, this shit, it's hard to say, but I mean, some people say there's no bad publicity. Yeah, no such right. bad publicity. Yeah, yeah. And that's what he's got. And they're now looking. Right. And now looking. He's doing white like that shit you said about Issa yeah. Rae. And they think. That Yellow Starburst. <laughs> Bottom of the popcorn fan. Damn. Word up. But anyway. But, but let me still, I'm, like I said, I was going to steal something. Is Wu-Tang the best ever group? As far as a uh, rap group? Hell yeah. Wu-Tang, Wu-Tang. I'm gonna tell you who, who you can only put up against Wu Tang and the idea of the best ever group. And you're gonna look at me like you're crazy. I'm not gonna look at you yet, because I know you will look at me. I know you're gonna be looking at me crazy too. No. New Edition. Okay, no. New Edition is my favorite. You know why? Cause I, I don't even want to say the freaking word. What does New Edition consider? I hate the word. I hate it. It's like, oh, what kind of group? What? New Jack? Yeah. R&B? Ah, right, fine. What were you gonna say? I don't, I don't even want to say. Pop? Nope. I mean, because that's that's really, that's ultimately what they became well, but for you, a time. You want me to tell you why Wu Tang um, is like new addition, and they can only go up against new addition? Because they spawned off because every single yes, member of the yes, group indeed. had a successful that's solo exactly career right. and came together and had that successful is, side side, side yeah. group careers. Well, listen, when we go to yeah. top twenty, I know that. Wu Tang What? Mm-hmm. I say number one. I say number one is in the Facts. And I didn't even like. I didn't even like um, Wu Tang when they first came out. The chef. Oh, why? Because of because uh, of Jizzle, Jizzle and Rizzle. I didn't like. I didn't like their first two songs. That protected name. I hated it. What? I didn't start liking them. Until I can. I can. I can understand. At the time, I can, I can understand why. why. You, you, but you were in it. You were in it. You were in it. Oh, yeah. And, and we came up after. Mm-hmm. We came up after. And the Protect Your Neck came out in 92, and 92 had some uh, super yeah. bad. I mean, you had EPMD, yeah. you had yeah. P-Rock well, and CL Smooth. But what you know I'm saying, saying? Wu-Tang, yeah. well, the reason why I, I said it. Wu-Tang is doing it right now. Yeah. Now go back, now see what happened with the NFT right now with, with just, just to show how much they involved. We talk about street things. Mm-hmm. We go to that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can't touch Riz, it. Riz, you can't touch it. And he was an early adopter, too, because that, that um, that NFT that he sold to Martin Squarely for one million, that was like 
four or five years ago. Yeah, that's the same one. That's the same album. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Like, it was four or five years ago. Uh, now, it's just starting to boom now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then RZA, you know what I'm saying? He's probably, the, he's probably one of the first, like, you know what I'm saying, uh, rap artists to really have a successful movie career, too. Really think about it. Yeah, because yeah, he's been in a few. He's really the been first, in a few movies. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know if he's the first, but he's definitely he's definitely one of the first. He's first. He's he got it all. Yeah, he definitely got it all. He got it all. Yo, in regards to the kids, to, to the kids, I'm just thinking about the um the kids you said um what was his name? D Strong. D Strong. Um, with the kids and everything, and then they chase him, you know, different uh, a million streams of income or whatever like that. You don't think that that, that rests heavy on their head like this? Yeah. It's like, you don't think that that, like, like hi, everybody, I think they got, like, flash word, mental health. Oh, a little crazy with this whole mental health thing or whatever like that. It's everybody, real. Everybody got an issue with mental health or whatever yeah. like that. I think every person does. Everybody. Yeah. Right? Some way, some way. I'm channeling. I'm channeling. Um, everybody got a form of PTSD. All these stuff. I believe so too. It's just that I think that people they take it as as like buzzwords and they run with it and they, they try to capitalize off of it and they, you know what I'm and they don't really try to try to make sense of it really and they and try to you know dive in into it a way that into it in a way that can help other people or whatever like that. So it's like do you think like mental health is like um is it a is it a sell catchphrase, or is it? I think it's an out. I think it's an out for people now. 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 So, shit. We're younger than you, I think even you know, our generation dealt with things different. Yeah. Right now, everyone has a uh, just from being around. Everyone has a um, classification. Everyone has a mental health issue. Everyone has a called IED. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a couple. Something now everybody got something. Everybody got yeah. something. But you know, I was always raised to know that no matter what walk of life money, everybody got this issue. It's how you deal with it. Everyone deals with things differently. Some people hide it. Some people mask it. I don't say hide. I say mask. Mm-hmm. So I don't think people hide it. Because I don't mm-hmm. think I should charge people for how I call it. Mm-hmm. A lot of people do that. Mm-hmm. But what you're saying, I think it's a way I think it's a way. It's cool that you're dealing with what why I got her. What's that do me? Mm-hmm. I just think this is a generational thing. I really do. Mm-hmm. I, put a, I think it's an out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I put, you know what? I'm not putting them down. I'm just saying yeah. I just think it's an out. I, I agree, right? Because for a long time, like, the whole, like, the whole push for, like, people to go to, like, like, now, like, mental health, it's like, when you think of mental health now, you think about, you know what I'm saying, going to a therapist, right. you know what I'm saying, getting on Xanax and all and all those kind of things. Right? Right. Yes. I didn't believe in that, like when I was growing up, my my family didn't believe in that. I'm sure like like your family was like, you know what I mean, like if, like if, if you got an issue, you know what I'm saying, you deal with that shit, you know what I'm saying, and then you try to live, you try to live your life the best way you can, as normal as you can or however, you know what I'm saying, but I, I think that, uh, you know what I'm saying, when, when people talk about mental health, they they think about it in the context of a victimhood mentality, like you sh- like like well, we like, in a victimless society. You know? Everybody wants to play. Well, that, well, shit. That goes back to what we were saying before about you know about um, cancel culture. Is victimless a word? I said a victimless society. Victimless victimhood. Society. That's a word. We don't use that. That shit sounds good in the book. Victimless. Shit. What's that Google juice you had? Um, Google, Google juice. juice. Look, first of all, look, 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 look. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you were speaking French before. Yeah, then you don't try to don't yeah. try to front don't try to front for the cameras you know now. Like you was yeah, go ahead. Jean Claude Beyonce. Yeah, facts. Jean Claude Beyonce. <laughs> yeah, all that. Wild club. Yeah, all that. Yeah, that shit good as hell. Yeah, Napoli. You know what I mean? I ain't Haitian though. No. Why you ain't drinking your own juice? Cause that shit for you. Uh, why do you think it's half? Yeah, you I've been drinking most of this. What are you trying to do to us? 
Damn, it's, it's hitting all that that hard. No, I'm just saying. You ain't oh, damn, 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 hug. Told you I'm dark. I'm I'm you. That shit. Man, I ain't worried about shit. I'm talking about, I'm I'm talking about, I'm talking about Unk right here. I'm talking about Unk right here. He the one with the say, notes. He the one with the notes. I want him to start seeing double and shit. Hmm. No, no, no. No, I, um, I asked about uh, mental health and everything. Um, and the whole song. It's real. The whole song. And not, it's, it's, real. Real. it's real. It's real. It's real. real. Um, it's just sometimes for the people who do suffer from certain things, um, you know, the mental health issues and depression and yeah. whatever like that, they tend, to, they tend to tuck theirs away because they see so many people calling it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Using it and trying to, you know what I'm saying? Sell it. And, and they be like, yo, I don't want to see my girl with one of the fingers or whatever like that. So I don't want to even wanna open my mouth to what's really ailing me. You feel me? Um, like, I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm going to get personal. Like with me. Um, 